Hey Mallards, it's Monday and today's video is probably going to be pretty short and sweet because I don't have particularly a lot to say. Uh, I woke up this morning, I went to the fringe offices for a little while, ran some errands. I had a music meeting for Ophelia, that went well. And then I came home and I did a beta test for Meg's new show. It was really fun and slightly spooky. And then we ate dinner and watched Riverdale, and that's really what this video is about. So we are almost done. I think we have three episodes left in season six of Riverdale, which means that we then have a whole other season. How are they going to have a whole other season? I have no idea, because this season is definitely leading up to, like, the apocalypse. Like, the literal battle between good and evil is how this season is going to end. Uh, in case you didn't know, evil is capitalism and gentrification, uh, which I'm like, is Riverdale completely unhinged? Yes. Am I behind their message? Also, yes. The heroes in Riverdale are pro-union and uh, anti-capitalism. And I like that for them. And I like that for us. We should all be more like Riverdale. We should use our magical superpowers to stop capitalism. Just, I mean, I don't have magical superpowers, but if a significant number of people in Riverdale do, I feel like people have to be out there. So take your prior kinesis and use it for good, please. That's mostly what I've been thinking about. But while we were watching this, uh, an episode came where Sabrina Spellman came back. And it has been a running joke for a while, and I don't think I've really talked about this on the vlog, that Amanda writes Riverdale. Because often while we're watching, Amanda will say something, and then the character on the show will immediately say the same thing. Like, she's just very, very good at guessing the next line, because she wrote the show. So that has been a long-standing joke with us, because Amanda does it with some surprising frequency. But today, this happened, and I had to take a clip of it. Sabrina's on Riverdale. This is my favorite new joke. And <laughs> Megan said, what if instead of bringing Jughead back, they bring back Sabrina's boyfriend? And what happened? They put Sabrina's boyfriend in Cole's Cross. <sighs> Does Megan write Riverdale, y'all? We thought it was Amanda who wrote Riverdale. Uh, she's been really hip on the line. Amanda writes but... the dialogue. <laughs> I write the unhinged plot. <laughs> We're to blame. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, my roommates collectively right Riverdale uh, and that is why we are still watching it despite its absolute chaos no we love the chaotic energy we really really do I stand up for the message of Riverdale everyone with superpowers should fight against capitalism it's a very clear message uh, and I don't understand why everyone's not behind it anyway now I'm gonna go to bed I'm sure we'll watch more Riverdale soon and I'll see you tomorrow